Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters. I make this channel not out of hate. I do not hate any of the people on this channel. I don't care or like a lot of them. I don't like what they do. They take part in deception, biblical deception. People idolize and worship celebrities, but we show more than celebrities on this channel. We do show celebrities, movie stars and musicians, but we show people from all walks of life. It's the whole world deceived by Satan. The world is biblical. The good news is the gospel of truth of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, shed his precious blood, was buried then resurrected three days later. According to the scriptures, he is the truth in this world that is full of lies. I am not judging these people unfairly. I focus on things I can show on the screen and talk about. Mostly the signs, symbols, and agendas that are not for Christ. Therefore, by default, they are anti-Christ. Freemasonry is involved, right? A secret society. They do secret, hidden in plain sight, sign symbols, and they push anti-Christ agendas like the homosexual agenda, the transgender agenda, more things and more deception in the world. Valentina Zaneri, or Zaner, she is an actress from Argentina. She's doing one-eye symbolism here, representing one eye. She's doing more one-eye symbolism here, the eye of Horus. Horus is just another name for Satan. All the false gods are just a big branch of Satan. She's doing the vow of silence here. Is she keeping the secret about the biblical world, about how fame, fortune, and success work, no matter where you are in the world, and most likely about Freemasonry? She's doing the vow of silence again. Is she just in the library or something? And she hides her hand in her coat the way a Freemason would do. This really is the world. Sometimes these videos aren't like a slam dunk. Some people do the signs, symbols, and agendas more than others. But most of the world seems to do this, and a lot of people are unaware. I hope and pray that this will put the fear of God into them, that th this will start them researching, that this will start a prayer life for people. It is very beneficial to have a prayer life with Jesus Christ and to read the Bible. That is his word. It is true. And that's the world we're living in, a biblical one. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.